What's going on everybody, it's your boy Jay Rich, back for Monday Night Football between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. One of the best rivalries in football over the last few years. We got Jimmy Garoppolo's back, so the Rams gotta deal with Jimmy Garoppolo again. I have a few quick bets I think you guys should be placing today, because I think there's some great numbers out there. And let's just dive right into it, let's not waste any more time. Close game, one and a half point spread right now on DraftKings. The 49ers are favored at home, so that one and a half point spread is basically just their home field advantage. Nothing really to see here. But the first play I'm looking at is Debo Samuel over 55 and a half receiving yards. Debo Samuel has been a killer against the Rams in the past few years. He's averaged 96 yards per game in the la last season, and then he averaged 76 yards per game for his entire career against the Rams. His number is set at 55 and a half. With Jimmy G back, I think. That means a lot of good things for Debo Samuel. He had 73 receiving yards last game with Jimmy G obviously at the helm for the full game. I think it'll be a really close one, but I think that the brand I think that the San Francisco 49ers know they have to rely on Debo Samuel. They can't just sit back there. Trent Williams not playing, the offensive line not playing very well. Jimmy G looked skittish in the pocket. I think they're gonna have to get it out early, and I think that means getting the ball to Brandon Ayuk to Debo Samuel. And I think that means great things for Samuel because he's great after the catch. We know he can do that. And what he's done against the Rams over the past few years. I don't see how they're going to stop him. And again, that offensive line being bad, they'll get it out early. They'll get it out to Debo. And I think that means great things for Debo in this matchup. 55 and a half yards is pretty low. You know, he's 55 and a half to about 57 and a half. Like I mentioned, he's averaging well over that, went over that last game. The other number that I do like, I'm probably not going to take it because of the juice is over four and a half receptions. He's had five in each of the last two, last two games. He's had five in the past few games against the, against the Rams as well. So I think it's another great number, but the juice... Not really worth the squeeze. Now, a bet where the juice probably is worth the squeeze is Cam Akers over one and a half receptions. It is plus money right now. I believe it's plus 120 on the books if you want to take that. A little scary. You know, Cam Akers has zero receptions in two games, but did have two receptions in week two. And I think the bigger point here is that when the Rams play the play the Niners, that pass rush is going to be fierce, and it will be worse this year because that offensive line has been really bad for the Rams. And I think that could lend itself to us seeing more Cam Akers in this matchup, especially in the receiving game. Now, Cam Akers actually did play in Week 17 against the 49ers. He caught three passes for 10 yards, so whether you want the over one and a half receptions or the over six and a half receiving yards, I think both are great numbers. I think they're really discounting Akers. I think he could do something in the screen game or just in the short passing game. Akers is a guy that's been worked in slowly, you know, 43% in week two, 50% snap share in week three, and I think we could see even more in week four. So I do love both those guys. I think those are my top two plays for the day. You know, I like to get a little bit risky with these low, low plays with six and a half receiving yards, one and a half receptions. But again, I believe that the plays are there. I think that's where they can attack the defense. I think that rush on both sides is going to be tenacious and it's going to mean shorter passes and not as many deep balls down the field. So again, Cam Akers over one and a half receptions or six and a half receiving yards. And I think Debo Samuel over 55 and a half receiving yards is a great play today. Short, sweet, to the point. That's what I'm here for. Monday Night Football should be a great one today. I'm really excited for it. Awesome rivalry. Great game, hopefully. Should be close. Hopefully, Jimmy can turn out a vintage performance. I think Shanahan's going to have to go away from the new playbook and go back to what they used with, with Jimmy G. We know there's a lot of Debo Samuel, some George Kittle, some Brandon IU, probably a heavy dose of Jeff Wilson today. But if it's close, I think both these guys can easily clear these numbers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you appreciate the picks. We'll be back for Thursday Night Football on Thursday for more bets, more picks. Hope you guys cash tonight. And if you tail, give them hell. And if we fail, do not bail. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.